Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, we will be introducing you with Microsoft Project. The Microsoft Project is top-notch project management software. Maybe you are aware of because you are watching this video that you also want to know how we need to install it. Generally, Microsoft Project do not come pre bundled with Microsoft Office package until or unless you have bought it. So in this video, we will show you how you can install Microsoft Project using Microsoft Office deployment tool. You can start using it right away. So get ready to upgrade your project management skill with Microsoft Project. So let's get started and let's see how we can download it. Without further ado, let's get started. Now here we are at our computer screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open browser. So let me open Microsoft Edge browser since everybody have this. So before we start, I want to let you know, guys, we will be completing this installation of Microsoft project in two step, which is we will create a custom XML using Microsoft Office customization tool and then we will use Office deployment tool. So let's start our step first, which is creating a custom XML. So for that, you need to type in Microsoft Bing or Google Office Customization Tool. And not to worry guys, I'm also going to provide you the direct link of this Office Customization Tool in description of this video. Now here, you need to select which version you want to have. So I would like to select 64 since everybody nowadays have 64-bit system. Unless you are using at least 10-year-old computer. Now here from Office Suite, you can select the office that you want to install so in my case i would like to go with office 365 apps for enterprises and now here you will get option to select visio i'm not interested in visio that is why i am selecting none and the reason why we are here and why we are creating this custom setup to have microsoft project installed so now here we will be selecting the microsoft project that we want so in my case, I would like to select Microsoft Project Online Desktop Client. Maybe you would like to choose Microsoft Professional 2021. So it is totally up to you which version you choose. Now, if you are confused that which version you should go for, then let me quickly show you the different different variants of Microsoft Project in Microsoft website. So you will get perpetual license based version of Microsoft Project, which have following features and let's say you want to go with cloud-based then these are the cloud-based versions available with three different plan so i'm gonna go with this subscription based one so let me select this one and then here i can select additional product so in my case i'm gonna keep it as it is and now here you can select update channel so based on your need you can select i have selected monthly enterprise channel which means that i will be getting update every month and then here you also have an option to customize your office so let's say i do not use microsoft access so i can disable it i also do not use onedrive desktop so i can also disable it and in a similar way you can customize your whole office setup now um, let me click next and then here you need to select your language so i'm going to keep english us as the language if you want your office to be in another setup then you can choose another language as well now let me click next and then you need to keep on clicking next and again click on next 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 and now here we need to click on finish now the last step in office customization tool is to export the custom xml that we have created now i'm going to select this option which says open office xml format and then click ok now here we need to click on i accept and click on export now click on keep it and that's how guys we have created our own custom xml file and this file do not directly open in notepad but um, you can open the folder first and then here you can make a right click and then click on open with and then uh, you need to click on choose another app and that's how guys we can open xml file in notepad now let's open it up and here we can see the complete configuration file with option of what item i want to exclude what item i want to include now what we will be doing is let me copy it and go to desktop and here i'm going to create office folder 
okay and now let me paste it after creating this custom configuration.xml the next thing is to download office deployment tool and you can directly go to google.com and type here download office deployment tool and then you can reach to the page that i have already opened and if you face any difficulty then you can check out the link i have provided in the description of this video you can directly reach to the same page now we need to click here on download and that's how we have successfully downloaded it now let's click on open now click on i accept terms and condition and click on continue now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my desktop and i'm going to select the same folder or office where i have saved my custom xml and now i'm going to click ok now it have successfully extracted all the file now let me minimize it and now let me go back to the same desktop office folder and here you can see my previously created configuration and some of new configuration that came up with this setup file now we will simply delete these all configuration and we will keep our own custom configuration file now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here on menu button and then i will be typing here command prompt and we'll select it as administrator and now here you need to type cd and space you need to copy this path or this location and now just go back to command prompt and make a right click so that you can paste this if in case this path is not pasted then you can make right click on this ribbon bar and then go to edit and click on paste now hit enter and that's how guys we reach to this folder now the command that you need to type here is setup dot exe and then space forward slash and then you need to write here configure and then the xml file name which is configuration so i'm going to type here configuration dot xml now hit enter and there we go now we can see our custom customized setup of microsoft office with microsoft project has started and here we go guys here we also can see the programs that this setup will install and this also include microsoft project which we would like to download with our office setup now let's just wait for the process to get completed one more information that i would like to share with you that this process may take some time based on the internet connection you have since the office setup going to download one or two gigabyte of data based on the configuration we have selected and here we can see the process is almost getting finished and there we go here we can see the installation is finished message and now let me just close it and here also we can see successful completion message now let's click on close and now let's try to find out project which we have just installed and there we go now let's click on project and that's how guys we have successfully installed microsoft project so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful but one thing i want you to keep in mind that microsoft project is not a free tool and you eventually require to purchase it to use it for extended period i also have added the buying link of uh, microsoft project in the description of this video you can directly buy it from microsoft the same link is provided so what are you waiting for if you find microsoft project useful enough in this trial period then you can definitely buy it this is pritam negi signing off from technoholic and thanks for tuning in and i will catch you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye